What's going on, everybody? This is Al from SW06 Revival. And in the last game, we played Mississippi State. They gave us a pretty good game. Second half, I finally pulled away a little bit. Uh, ended up getting the win. Now we play Vanderbilt, another team that we should take care of. It's a big game, though, in the fact that we got two prospects coming. Hopefully we can get those two committed. Uh, then after that, we just got a few more games left and then try to finish the season out, maybe with another national title. Uh, in the last video, I don't know if you stayed for the tail end, but I did mention about my next dynasty. There's two choices I'm going to go with, and you guys can help me decide kind of what you want to see. I'm either going to uh, leave Central Florida, stay in this dynasty, but take another job. I'm going to pick a Power 5 school that's absolutely terrible. I went through the rosters, and there's two teams that are just bad. Uh, Indiana and Baylor. They're both, they're the only two Power 5 schools that are one-star programs. I mean, they're terrible. Both rosters are bad. Baylor's is probably worse because they're lose, they got 70 players on the team but 24 seniors. It, it, both teams are programs would be a complete rebuild. Or I could start a brand new dynasty and go from there. The con with sticking with this dynasty is my recruit or my uh, coach prestige uh, will stay intact. I'll have a, a six-star program or six-star coach prestige, and uh, that will be beneficial in recruiting. But I don't think that's a big con. I think it just it is what it is. So either after this season or next season, I think that's probably what I'm going to do: uh, is leave my legacy at Central Florida, go take on another job somewhere else, try to build them up into a national power and maybe try to dethrone my old team a la Central Florida. And whatever team I pick up, I'm going to run a complete system. I'm not going to just go from offense to offense. Uh, so just let me know in the comments section which route you want me to go. What we can do, and I didn't think of this until now, I can go to the report card of my coach and uh, contract info. A six of eight. I still got two more years on the contract, but I still may step down. If I step down, that will lower my pro coach prestige to five instead of six. They don't like it when you quit jobs, basically. But when you quit jobs, pretty much any five-star team and below uh, will be available for you to pick up. So I know I'll have the option to pick up Indiana or Baylor. So that's what I may end up doing. But we'll see. Okay, enough of that. Uh, let's go to recruiting. I got two guys coming in this week. Uh, Rashad Kane. Let's see. He's not concerned about program prestige, academics, or style of football. I will just do uh, coach prestige. That's a safe bet. And the other one, uh, no feedback. We'll just do program prestige for Kurt Smith. So two Alabama boys. Hopefully I can get both of them. We'll look at Vanderbilt real quick and see what they got. They're just not very good. Their best stat is turnover differential, and they're 42nd in the country. Everything else is pretty rough. So let's just play Vanderbilt. Let's see if we can just take care of business here. Let's see if they got any injuries. Oh, they got a ton. They got two linemen, a wide receiver. Well, it's a home game. I haven't had a home game in a while. I like to have a nice, clean game. Get a couple commitments out of it. Coin toss. They won it. Let's see what they pick. They're going to kick it. And I'm okay with that. I want the ball first anyways. Okay, let's look at their team. 72. Terrible quarterback. They got two impact halfbacks. Neither one of them starts. That's interesting. But their strength is obviously their halfbacks. So that may be a challenge for us. Wide receivers, just okay. 78. And left tackles out for a while. 84, 76, 74, 84, not very good. 
59, 82, 78, 76, so their front four is not the best. 88, 86, 84, their linebacker core is really good. Very good linebacking core. Uh, 78, 80 at the corners, 86 and 86. So their secondary and uh, their, their back seven is really talented, for, especially for Vanderbilt. So uh, I may run the ball more than usual, I guess. Go after their corners. I think they're a little bit weak. McDowell fields it at the one. Let's go with. Let's start off with tight end delay. Going man. Let's just see who's defending who here. Stump it off the Hatchel. Pick up about eight. Let's go five wide. Let's try my double screen here. We're going zone. 67 and 7. It's my record. Not bad. It's a coach. And didn't pick up the first, but that's okay. Third and one. Let's just run speed option to pick up the first. We're going dime. I'm okay with that. Zone. I'll run to the right, hoping that defensive end won't cause me any trouble. Just don't fumble. There we go. Let's go after their corner. Uh, let's do a screen. They may go man here. No, they're going to go zone, so we'll go after the corner. Yeah, good block. Real good block by my, I think that was Gaines. Nice juke. That's how you execute the screen pass. Yep, the quarterback dumped it off, and everyone did a good job of blocking up front. Doesn't get much Keep going after that. the corners. I'm going to go after their front four here in a minute. Do some up gut Golden stuff. Right. Set up in the gun. Gun dolly. Drops back on first down. Complete. He's on open. Good play there. Perfect pass. Right in stride. I like the defense that was called. They now we can go spray. We can do like halfback to Greg and go right after their defense tackles. They're not very good, but they got their linebacker sitting right there. Maybe he'll shift over. Yeah. There we go. Touchdown. Easy peasy. Just go after their weaknesses. That's all I've done. Corners. And then finally went after the line. Just go right up the gut. Get back on defense, or actually start on defense. This is just the first drive of the game. And he hits the PAT. Here's the Pontiac drive summary. It's a pinpoint drive there. It's a good execution. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Decent kick. He'll return it. Good stop there. And now we'll see the offense come out of the field for their next possession. Yeah, I'll just run quarters for Get now. I think they're going goal line on me here. Going with the power eye. Going power eye. Better bring everybody up just in case. Somebody stop. My goodness. They may run the ball a ton today. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to attempt a blitz. Here's where the offense stands compared to the rest of the nation. Yeah, they sure are struggling when they have the ball. Nothing good seems to happen. They got one of the worst offenses in the country. Good stop there. Only picked up about one. Let's run some cover one this time. Ball on the 34-yard line. They shift on their defensive front. Got good stop there. Now it's third and long. Let's just go to Cloud. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on their own 35. Trying to get a good stop here. Maybe force him to punt. Good stop. I think I covered the middle 
well enough for him not to try to throw it. One thing I did mention in the first beginning of the video was the two teams that are absolutely terrible that I wouldn't mind taking over, Indiana or Baylor. You know, forever I've been talking about Kansas, you know, starting fresh with the dynasty there. Kansas is a four-star program now in this dynasty, so good for them. So I wouldn't take them over. That'd be too easy. They already have some talent, apparently. Let's do QB draw. Going man, 4-3. Let's motion him out. He's defending him. There we go. Good hit. That was a great play pickup by TG13, though, with the draw. Let's go back. Let's do a screen. Go after that corner again. He's actually the better corner of the two. The bad one's on the other side. And it's not the best throw. He had a drag a little bit. Good play there. Let's go here. Let's run some under. It's on my mind for whatever reason. So let's run in. Let's run some wide receiver under. Going man. That's what I wanted. But I bet that linebacker's going to defend McDowell, isn't he? Yeah, he is. We'll just see what happens here. Ooh, he caught it. McDowell had just enough speed and it had an extra step. Let's go. Uh, let's just run basic power. It's first and ten. We're going zone. Yeah, they're shifting hard that way. I'm okay with that. I'm just move him over. Hatchell, all American. Just a baller. Now let's go after that other corner. Let's go back and run that same screen. And we'll flip it. When you break one like that, you've got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. The Golden Knight set up in the gun. Rose, and they've got the right staff. Picked up by seven. Now I'm like on the, what, the five? The four? I'll definitely have to just run my toss. They're going zone. That's a big corner over there. I just didn't realize how tall he is. Uh, we'll just go to the left. Central Florida comes out with two tight ends. Guns on it. Running the option. I don't think I got it. Ooh, got in. Just barely. Now let's go. The field goal here. Let's pick up the extra point. Here's the Pontiac drive summary, bringing you fuel for the soul. Get back on defense. Sorry for the delayed audio here. I've been looking at my phone, checking to see who, who's going where in the draft. As you know, I'm a big Tennessee Volunteer fan, and our big quarterback, Josh Dobbs, just went to the Steelers. I love that. That's great. He can learn under Big Ben for a few years. Uh, Josh Malone, our receiver, went to the Bengals. Not a big fan of that just because the Bengals organization, that's that's a rough organization, but at any rate. Uh, Jalen Reeves Maven, our linebacker, went to the Lions today. So this is the best draft Tennessee has had in years just because we've had some serious down years in the last decade or so. The Commodore come out in the ace formation. Right up the gut. Stop there. I'm a default Tennessee Titans fan just due to geography, but it's not, I mean, I keep up with them, but it's not hardcore. Uh, I don't lose sleep if I don't miss a game, that type of, or if I do miss a game. I might have to become a Steelers fan. I, I really just don't have a team I can just hang my hat on and just stick with them forever. I just, I keep up with the NFL pretty hard, but. Just don't have that one team I just fall in love with, but I want to blow these guys out. I don't like Vanderbilt whatsoever. 
I mean, speaking of me being a Tennessee fan, it just, uh-oh, he gone. Six points. No flag, please, no flag. Yeah, I can't stand Vanderbilt. I'm gonna try to beat him about 80 if I could, but I'm gonna rest my starters if I, if I can. Good kick there. Get back on defense. Another good kick. That may be a touchback. We'll see. He may touch back. Let's see. No, nope, he's going to bring it out. Good stop, though. I just got athletes. It's just, I mean, unless I lose just so many players next year, Due to the draft and you know guys leaving early, I mean I'm going to compete for national championships every single year from here on out. That's a good play, tight end play. We'll stick with our quarters. Normally I think the golden rule, well it's not a golden rule, but I think. The perfect time that somebody that a coach has been out of school is about seven years. Once you get between seven to ten, it's kind of tough. I mean, I think the fans kind of are wear out, are wore out with you, getting tired of you. I can see something a little bit different. Uh, never more than ten years. Especially in this game. I, I mean, if it takes you more than seven years, to start winning national titles, then you're doing something wrong. And this may be a first down here. Ooh, stop him. I don't think he got it. Oh, he got it. Uh, this is my sixth year at UCF. This is by far the best team I've had up to this point. I think next year's team will be a little bit, uh, well, won't be as good just because I think I'm going to lose a lot of players. We can check. I mean, I haven't really looked hard. I'm losing TG13. I'll lose Hatchell. He'll probably go pro. I could get lucky. Lose Lawrence Crooks. I'll lose Gaines. Uh, Mendoza may go early. Poland will be gone. Then the junior, senior, junior, senior, senior. So I'm losing three, at least three starting offensive linemen. I'm losing Van. He's been a four-year starter. Adrian Smith's a junior. Defensive tackle, senior, junior. Outside linebacker, I got sophomore, senior, junior. Corners, those are the youngest guys I got in my starter or in my dev chart. Free safety, a redshirt sophomore, and a redshirt junior in Joel Mays. Sophomore and senior at punter. I'm going to lose quite a bit. So next year, I, I, I mean, I can still probably win the whole thing. Uh, it'll be a little bit more of a challenge, especially since I'll have a new quarterback. So I may stick around maybe for that extra year, finish out my seven-year rule like I mentioned earlier. Uh, then maybe go on something else. I don't know. I'll make up my mind once the season ends. Or you can put in the comments section, hey, do you want me to stick with Central Florida? Or do you want me to uh, just take another job elsewhere, either Indiana or Baylor? I like the idea of sticking with this dynasty. Uh, but uh, leaving my legacy and just keep rolling on with Coach Sexton. Let's say they're on punts. Or I could just start fresh. It doesn't really matter, I guess, but I think I may just stick with this dynasty and see if I could dethrone my own team. That would be hard. I'm sure they'll stay loaded by the time I get to play them. McDowell with another touchdown. My goodness, no flag, no flag. <coughs> Good for him. Haven't had too many returns for touchdowns this season. I just had the great blocking, and he didn't have to take too many angles to get the touchdown. He just had to basically run straight. Yeah, Vanderbilt's not posing any threat whatsoever. He puts a deep down 
Oliver feels it in the end. I just got smacked by that player. All right, let's go quarters. I think they'll just continue to run. Going weak twins. Going fullback over. I love that play. If you can get the block, and that's a great play for your fullback. I'll just stick with quarters. Let's see if they go to him again. Vanderbilt going with the power eye. That's a delayed handoff. They got they paid for it. I'll just stick with quarters. Still got the top defense in the country. Yards wise at least. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Short talk. Here we go. They'll That's just a good down. play right there. Let's say one thing. The reason they were able to get Third and two. Play is the fact that the Let's go 44. Get rid of the football. Good job up front by the offensive line. And don't forget the nice play by the running back as well. They come out in a goal line set. Great stop. Big, big stop right there. I'll just punt. Let's see if McDowell take one back for his third. I don't know if I've ever taken three back in one game. I might have. Just can't remember. Nope, we'll just fair catch that thing. Take that thing in the end zone. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Thanks to some nice passing on the last drive, the offense was able to take it down the field. Let's do our double screen. Going zone, so let's go to our zone beater. The question is, can they do it again? Gonzalez has five receivers lined up here. Yeah, it's just great play right there. Good defense. So they go to the screen, and it's going to lose them a couple. It looks like they were confused by the zone defense out there. They front speed no option. That trips over it's the going down zone. Down to go. Ball on the 17. Man, he's eight for eight on the day. Shifting that way. Gonzalez is back in the gun. Let's motion him over. Gonzalez on the outside. Yeah, I figured just go up the gut. Usually against zone, you run an option. You got to think more vertical because the defense is sort of sitting there waiting on you, especially if they go cover two. You know that corner is just sitting there. Uh, that just allows your quarterback to actually make a better play. Let's run another speed option. They're going zone. We'll do it at normal. We'll go left this time. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's good defense. I think he got the touch the ball a little bit as soon as I pitched it. That's yeah, no big deal. Not too worried about that. I probably should have just kept it. Going with the counter. It's a big play right there. He had good block and he was patient. Let's just do dog blitz. Might have enough time to run a little quick one minute drill here, depending on how they or how quick they score. Well, Billy Hill's got a say in that. Let's go. I'm going to blitz. I think they may go out play action or just do drop back. Uh, hopefully, they'll do that. If not, I'm going to get run over down the middle. Yeah, there's going to do a toss. And he juked for whatever reason. That helped quite a bit. Uh, let's just run Cloud. I'm not going to call a timeout. They may run clock here. Nope, they're going to go. Sack. Now I'll call a timeout. James Van. It's been a great defensive end for me. One of the better ones I've had. He was the first five star kid I picked up. Just a great player. That gives me 40 some odd seconds for TG13 to try to get us down the field. Definitely taking this one. Let's see if I can get a block or two. All right, I'm on the 24. Let's start out with halfback corner. 
They're going man. I'm okay with that. I bet that safety is going to come get it down. No, it's like that linebacker is. Central Florida. Everybody's shifting hard to go in cover two. Just give it to Gaines. Go there. Let's do circle. It's going man. Need to hurry it up. I didn't get the first and I didn't get out of bounds. I'm going to cover one again. We're going to spike the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed in the result of the first down. Spikes the ball. Second and 10. Let's go with, let's go back to tight end delay. They're going man. I'm okay with that. Uh oh. He's looking for his We'll let TG13 make the play. Oh, he dropped it. Come on, Gaines. All right, let's do halfback streak. If they're going zone, and maybe I'll do a little roll out here. Third and ten. Going cover two. No bad throw. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the safety made a bad play there. I threw. He was supposed to go to the sideline, and he didn't. But that safety just had a brain fart there. We'll take it. Four seconds. Let's try to get to half here. They get the ball first. And he hits the PAT. That's going to lead us to our Pontiac drive Central Florida. Kick this one off. I think I'm going to let my starter stay in for maybe another drive in the second half. Oliver, maybe two, just kind of depending. And then I'll put in my backups. I'm going to power up. I'm going to keep everybody back. Pretty much a, like a prevent. All right. Pretty good first half. That's what I expected. After one half of play, this we can look at this stats real quick. 232 total yards of offense. Look at the individual stuff. 11 to 12 for TG13. Receiving, rushing. Pretty much even on the rushing yards there. Uh, pretty even for the receiving. Looks like an out rated attack right there. Everybody kind of getting their touches. Let's get back on defense. Central Florida got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. He kicks it. They'll probably return this, yep, most definitely. Hardy fields it at the two. Fumble. Fumble. Somebody pick it up. We'll take it. All right. I'm on the, hmm. Let's go here. I'm going to attempt that screen again. We're going zone. They line up in the shotgun. Gonzalez, step back. Yeah, just nothing there. That's just good defense. That's better on the right hash or when he's on the short side of the field. Uh, let me think. What am I forgetting? I'll just do corner. Let's see if I can get in the end zone from here. They're going man. Well, it's just plain bad. Have a look at the number. They both safeties come up. I may just try to drop it to McDowell. Yeah. What a throw! Oh! Perfect throw. I threw it as hard as I could, just hoping he can get in stride. That was the perfect throw. I could have lobbed it. Just right where it needed to be. Man, what a throw. Okay. I'm taking out. Everybody, there's no reason to keep them in there today. Everybody's done their job. Just got to get ready for the stretch run of the season. I still got Ole Miss and LSU. Both of them are still ranked. So I need everybody healthy. And I'll just run just kind of whatever in the second half. But 
try to run clock and end this thing. Kicks it off. That's a terrible kick. Hardy fields it at the nine. Good coverage. And now we'll see the offense coming out of the field for their next possession. I'll just stay in course. They've been running the ball a whole lot, so. Going with halfback Sting there. Good stop. Three yard gain by the running back. No, that's not Dwight Freeney. I wish. It's second down and seven to go. Look at my backups. Incredible. For a defensive line to be that good for the second string. Backup middle line, linebackers. I mean, I'm going the same play again. Just my I just got day up, I got talent, I got it all. And that's just what recruiting can do for you. That's why I said, you know, after about seven years, your team should be loaded down with talent to where you should be just competing for national titles every single year. Then you may start two-peating or back-to-back -back and then three-peating, and then you'll just get to the point where nobody can beat you. That's when it's probably time to move on. They line up to punt this one away. It's away and it's a booming punt. Central Florida was a winless team. When I took them over, they were an 0-11 the previous year. Now I got them as the top program in the country and took me about six years to get to this point. Technically four. I should have won a national title my fourth year. But LSU messed that up. Let's run some flex bump. They're going man. They're spreading out and both safeties come up. This is maybe the time where I'll actually run it with my fullback. Normally I would just hand it off and do, or do my basic option. But when both safeties come up against man, sometimes you'll get a crease and your fullback will be wide open down the middle for a big score. I still got eye normal. I never even touch it. My baby. I need to put in something else there. I mean, we can run some of out of eye normal. Second down and five. Ball on the 42. Going zone. High formation here. Martin Dale. say. Picked up the first down. Picked up the first. Yeah, a good job up front by the offensive line. They picked up some. Now we can run some power option. We're going zone. Going that way. The Golden Knights. We'll just run Go clock. I'm just going to run a bunch of triple and option. Basically, you'll see a little preview of my eye option offense. Just a little bit of some of it, not a whole lot. Here's the eye left. He makes a pitch, and he's taken down. I don't know why I faked the pitch there. That wasn't smart on my part. Now let's run a dive, fullback dive. Second and two coming Going up Going zone. Ball on the 44. I'll just, yeah, I'll stick Florida. front to the left. Up in the eye. Run a little clock. Then I can go to ace normal. Ace normal is a big formation in the eye option. Offense. Let's pick up the first. Well, Coach, you picked up a few yards on that one. Brent, tough running by this kid. Now let's run speed option at ace normal. You got to be careful with speed option under center. You can't abuse the speed button or the, the defense will abuse you. And the impact you just got to let your blocks open up and then you can start using the speed button. But we'll go to the left. This is a real quick read. They go with the option. There we go. You kind of have to wait a little bit just to make sure nobody comes around the edge and he fumbles it. Whew, got out of bounds though. Now we can go normal again. We can do uh, triple option, but Nebraska, Tom Osborne didn't really run triple. He always kind of faked it through the fullback unless it was just an obvious he needed to hand it off to him. But So in this case, we'll just treat it like a normal option. We'll fake the dive. He would call this dive option. I'm using the counter version of it. It's no different than the basic triple option. Here we go, try to pick up the first. Martindale's getting a little gassed. <laughs> Looked a little slow there. We'll stake a nine normal. We can go back and run some uh, 
so he kept it himself. Go back to slam. And I'm actually running a little too much. I would do a little play action, but since it's run the second half, I'm just trying to run clock. There's really no point in passing it. This is a super simple offense to run. That's just good defense there. Second and ten. Let's go with. Guys were shooting through the line right into the backfield. That play didn't have a. We'll run dive again. Dive option. Twelve yards out. Again, I'll just normally fake it, the dive, and just run my basic option. I'm going to go to the left. They're going zone, so I kind of need to get more vertical with it, unless they blitz the corner. Or just there we go. Just be patient with it. They're running cover two, so that corner was sitting over there waiting on me. So I just needed to cut up field with my quarterback. Now we can go back and run our toss since it's goal line. They're going zone. Looks like I'll run to the left. Now I'm sort of thankful I got the eye normal off uh, formation in this one. Kind of give you a little idea of what the uh, eye option will look like. Ooh, corner blitz. Pitched it just in time. He could have disrupted that. Just went right down the field. Just went on the slam, dive, dive option. I didn't even run halfback draw, which halfback draw is actually halfway decent under center. I don't think that plays an eye normal. I think it's an ace normal, though. I may have to try it here a little bit. I didn't do any of my passing. I didn't do a halfback screen. I didn't do a basic play action, simple two-man game. There's only like 10 concepts in the eye option offense. I'll just give you a little secret on that. You're just running out of pretty much nine formations. And you're just attacking their weaknesses. And he got all of this one. Great. But you're doing it Tom Osborne style. Oliver feels it in the end zone. A lot, a lot of run game, a lot of option, a lot of hitting them deep when they're getting tired of you running down their throat. Let's go back and play some defense. Go, let's go quarters. They're going to go power eye again. That was a good juke right there. Picked up the first. It's going to be the last play of the quarter. That's when you go to the, air, my friend. the man, I didn't get this one off. Yep, I didn't get it off. Oh my gosh, somebody stopped him. Ingram brings him down. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football. All right, one more quarter. Let's just knock this thing out. This one is well in hand. With the score, Central Florida 49, Vanderbilt 3. Well, going with the dive, I love the dive. With the fullback, it's great. It's just a quick hit or up the gut. Very pivotal play in the eye option offense. I'll stay in. Looks like they're going to run the ball on me. He's just finding his creases. That was a nice run. That was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball. They've already scored, so I'm not too upset if they score again. You know, I like having shutouts, but that's already history. Going to play action here. That dude's wide open. Sack. We'll take it. Second and 16. That's exactly what you expect out of the scene. Big play. I'm gonna attempt to blitz. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball in the 33. Maybe they go play action again. Now that they know they gotta run, they may throw it though. Or they may run it. Nope, going to drop back. He steps up. He goes downtown. Great play. On my backup safety, I forgot his name. And they swarm to the football. Oh, They're what's his name? Plays to disrupt Wiltshire. The game. They're down and long coming up here. And Wiltshire, yep, yeah, that's it. The current drive, the Commodore. He's just as talented as Mays. I just got the depth everywhere. Make a play, corner. What an interception. Oh, my gosh, you don't see that too often. 
turning around like that and grabbing it. That's an awesome play right there. Watch this. I'm glad I didn't take him over. I would have messed that up. Look at that. Oh, that's, oh he one-handed it. Golly, I got to go back and watch that again. Let's go back. Let's just cover him. If I can Let's just go here. He pretty much one-handed that thing. Wow, that's awesome. Good for him. Now let's run a dive out of uh, ace normal. Going zone. I'm just trying to go up the gut. The Golden Knight. Come out of the eighth formation. That's good defense. They kind of had everything plugged up. Now we can run our dive option. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 20 Going zone. Shifting that way, so I'll just probably go Central to Florida. the left. Up in the eye. We'll run clock. That's another thing. This offense is great for running clock. Because you're running, 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 then you're doing a little pop pass every now and then. I could have faked the pitch there. I think I had a chance just cutting up field with my quarterback, and I didn't. Uh, third and six. Normally you'd go with like a short pass play in normal offenses, not on the eye option. Your option plays are your short passes. They come out with a big set. And that's what we're going to do here. This could be a big game if we can get some blocks. They're bringing both safeties up, so maybe I can get around the corner. Martin. I didn't get it, but I'm going to go for it, though. Fourth and one. Let me take Osei out. He's gassed. Let's put in Perry. Oh, well. Let's do here. There we go. We're going to run power again. Normally, I probably need to do dive is what I need to do. Or I could just run this play right here and just let it go. I'm going to just dive right there. I'm not going to go in for the score. I need one clock. 241. Big play by Perry, though. To show you the power of this offense. <laughs> Again, my passing game is real simple. There's a lot of deep stuff. You don't need short stuff because you're running the ball so hard on the flats, up the middle. I mean, you're, like I said, your option replaces any short passing you'll ever have to do. I'm going to attempt this draw, see if it's any count. Not a whole lot there. Pick up a couple. I'm going to go back to dive. Going man. Let's see, me. I'm going to run this way, run to the strong side. See if I can pick up some yardage. Just run clock and end this thing. It's a good gain right there, picked up about five. Six yards. Zone. We'll just run our toss. They line up in a double tight set. Oh, no, what am I doing? I don't want to move him over. I want to move my receiver over. There we go. Ooh, that was close. That's good defense right there. Fourth and goal. Let's kick a field goal. Again, just run a clock, just trying to end this thing. Should be a, a good one. Yep, right down the pipe. Now let's see if my defense just needs to finish this thing out. Sends it sailing downfield. 
Excalibur. Feels it in the end zone. Defense. Oh, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. You got to see, of course, my usual spread offense. It's been my staple for the entire season, but this entire second half has been devoted to the I option. I'm doing a little shameless plug for my new book. Hope I can get that out there to you guys here in the next week or so. And you you only saw like two thirds of it. You didn't even see hardly any passing that goes with it. And you only saw two formations. You didn't see the other seven. So what you saw barely scratches the surface of what that offense really is. Probably go one more play here. Third and two coming up here. Ball on their own 28. The defensive backs moving in closer. I'm going to stay in. I'm quite positive they're going to run it. And they'll run it with good good stop. Screen. All right. Good game. 52 to 3. Took care of business like we're supposed to. Now, stay around for the end of the video. Let's hope we can get those two commitments. Those two Alabama defensive players. I'm just stealing their talent from that state. Alabama might not even be in their top five, and either one of them, or Auburn, have to check and see. Well, we won't know now if they commit, but just a flawless game. Let's sim it. See if we can get those two commits. A lot of W is there. Just one right after another. Oh, again, please comment or put in the comment section what you'd like to see me do. I'm either going to stick around for another season or I'll move on to another team, stay in this dynasty, take over either Indiana or Baylor, or just start a fresh dynasty altogether. It'll be one of the three. I do know if I stick with UCF, next season will be the last season. I think seven years is enough. I think I've proved my point with this program. I'm excited to see what's happening. I'm in practice mode. What I've been working on a lot is uh, let's see if we get those commits. Yeah, we got both of them. Five star Rashad Kane, four star Kurt Smith. So I'm just reloading. Um, but what I was saying, uh, in practice mode, I've been running a lot of triple shoot offense. It's my mix of flex bone triple option with uh, the run and shoot passing game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. That's probably what I'll end up using in the next dynasty. That'll be completely unique. Nobody on YouTube is running that thing in a dice. I can tell you that much. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. All right, come on back. We'll play South Carolina. They've given us fits in the past. Uh, let's see if we can try to just knock them uh, on their butt. After that, we got Ole Miss, and then we got LSU. Well, the stretch run is going to be pretty tough. So we'll see what happens, and I'll talk to you later.